My name is Tom Pito. I'm an epidemiologist uh, working for the Mahdol Oxford Tropical Research Unit and I've been based mostly in Cambodia working on studies of malaria elimination. Malaria in Southeast Asia has declined massively this century and there are targets which all the governments are committed to to eliminate malaria over the next 10 to 15 years. Uh, however, just continuing the activities of malaria control, which is treating clinical cases of malaria, may not be sufficient to eliminate malaria on target. The problem is that these infections are, are in people who appear healthy and so they go untreated. So we, we're now exploring in, in clinical trials new ways of, of, of treating these infections to interrupt transmission. Um, one of which is the it's known as mass drug administration or an MDA and this is the presumptive treatment of an entire population in a geographic area uh, to interrupt malaria transmission. Mass drug administration is, is easy in theory, you just get everybody to take the medicine then there's nobody with parasites to transmit. In practice it's quite complicated, it's difficult to get entire communities to understand uh, about the importance of asymptomatic infections and want to participate uh, because you need to get entire families including children, old people, uh, migrant workers, forest workers, everybody in the community has to take the medicine around the same time. It's challenging but we know now that it's been successfully done uh, in, 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 by our group on a small scale during clinical trials in, in several countries and by other groups as well in different circumstances. So though I say it's challenging, I mean, it, it has worked when it's been done properly. In the last uh, five or so years, uh, there have been new lines of research which, which have come up in, 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 in the conduct of, of, of mass drug administration. There's now a, a licensed vaccine for malaria, which has been used originally to save African children from dying from severe malaria. But we're interested in, in, in our unit to repurpose this uh, as a vaccine which could be given at the same time as mass drug administration in Southeast Asia to prevent transmission because the vaccine would prevent new infections, whereas the MDA only cures um, prevalent infections at the time it's given. Another would be to combine uh, mass drug administration with other medicines, for example, ivermectin, which has the useful quality of uh, killing mosquitoes who feed on people who've taken it. So by taking that as well, you'd actually aff aff affect the force of transmission in the village at the same time. And then there are new rapid diagnostic tests which are very sensitive, much more so than the existing ones. And these could be used in some places where it's not possible to do MDA to screen and treat the asymptomatic reservoir uh, of malaria or um, given in addition after MDA to prevent malaria from being reintroduced into villages. I think it's important to, to fund this, this sort of research um, because the emergence of uh, artemisinin resistance uh, and now resistance to the partner drugs used in artemisinin combination therapies should be considered a public health emergency. Uh, in Southeast Asia at the moment, we have historically low levels of malaria transmission and we have very motivated uh, governments and organizations working to control and, and, and now eliminate malaria. Um, and this may not be the case five or ten years from now. In order to eliminate malaria, we're going to need to do a lot of research at the same time to understand the effectiveness, the safety, the feasibility of new strategies for interrupting malaria transmission and new effective first-line treatments for malaria. So I think this research is important. Uh, if we're going to reach our elimination goals in the middle of next decade. I think this kind of applied field research has, has a large practical value. Um, so this is research which, if we demonstrate new effective ways of uh, attacking the asymptomatic reservoir of malaria, which sustains transmission, um, so particularly these, these mass drug administration studies, these are strategies which could be incorporated into malaria control and elimination programs. And indeed, I mean, since we began working on, on studies of mass drug administration in Southeast Asia, I think we've, we've had an influence on, on policy in, in, in countries and in terms of international guidelines. Moru and, 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 and partners have, have, fed into, have fed into these, providing evidence of what works and what may be effective and where it may be effective. So I think there's a, uh, there's a fairly immediate practical value to, 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 this, to this research.